What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I am so incredibly disappointed because I played the Mono for 2 beta for the first time yesterday, at the time you guys are watching this. Uh, I played for, you know, a little bit in the morning, a little bit at night, maybe a little in the afternoon, I don't, I don't remember, but dude, I, it's bad. It's so bad. It's so freaking bad. Let's get into it. All right. First off, I'm probably going to title this something, you know, maybe a bit exaggeratory or whatever, but uh, it's going to be something along the lines of don't get, don't buy this game. And I never make these videos during a beta or like super early into the game's life cycle, but th there's just so much negative things in this game for me that I can't support buying it. Let's start off with the first thing. Number one, you guys probably already seen it in the gameplay for here already, but dude, the lag, y the gameplay you're watching is complete trash. And part of it is because obviously I don't know the maps or anything. Part of it is this godforsaken ridiculous lag you can see it in in the recordings like i literally stutter like th the screen freezes here and there like it just doesn't make any sense i literally like flicker from from place to place i i teleport it's so bad i don't understand how it seems to be just me you know a lot of people on twitter a lot of my friends who i've been playing with don't seem to have this issue but for me it's it's literally game breaking to the point where guess what if i'm like stuttering if i'm teleporting across the map I'm not going to have fun. I'm not going to see people. I'm not going to be able to react and shoot people. And, you know, in this game, with the time to kill being where it is, you kind of need to react, okay? There's not much, like, opportunity. There's not much leeway to uh, to not react in time. That's number one for me. It's just the lag. It's out of this world ridiculous. And it's not just, like, one game here or there. It's every single time I start up a game. Like, the first, like, two, three minutes, it's just chop full of lag. I think at the end of this gameplay, it starts to get a little bit better. And you can notice it because I actually start going on streaks and stuff. But, you know, <laughs> you could just see me just like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like experimenting with the camera. I'm throwing these like weird shock charges down uh, and just stuttering and teleporting all over the place. No idea what this map is called. Uh, I'm using like an M4 with like no attachments as well. Speaking of the M4, let's talk about the gunsmith slash UI. The UI system, oh my goodness, guys. The friends list, terrible, okay? It's so poorly designed. It's designed in such a way that, that like you wanna be able to like see what your friends' outfits are, but in doing so, they give up like so much fluidity in what a UI should be and, and how like easy and seamless it should be to basically just invite and join on your friends' game sessions. It is shocking how bad they made the UI when nothing was wrong with it uh, in, in like previous titles, you know? I think the biggest complaint in previous titles wasn't necessarily the UI, it was more just like, oh, I'm not able to join on my friends list and stuff, or I'm not able to, to accept my friend's you know party invitation, we just sit in the lobby for hours and hours. That's obviously annoying, that's kind of in this game as well, but uh, not to the highest degree, I, I, so I guess that's a good thing. But not even just the friendsless UI, the party system UI, the gunsmith. Bro, have you guys checked out the gunsmith? I've been playing Call of Duty, every single Call of Duty, not every single Call of Duty, but like I've been playing Call of Duty for a long time, okay? Mono for 3, Black Ops 2, you know, back in those days. Uh, even complicated ones like Ghosts, like, uh, you know, World of War, uh, no, World War 2, stuff like that. I've, I've played through a lot of these with like random, like random uh, design choices, customization options out the wazoo. I have never been this confused trying to build a class in the gunsmith in any single Call of Duty beforehand. I feel like I need to watch like an actual like exclusive ace or prestigious key video just to figure out how to make a class in this game. Not like what class, but how to make a class because the UI system is so ridiculously clunky and unnecessary that I just don't know what they were thinking. You have to like go into the gun itself, hit R if you're on keyboard to access the gunsmith instead of just clicking on it. Then like when you want to remove or add in certain attachments, you have to like click R again or something instead of just clicking on it. It's it's so counterintuitive. They I don't know, like, if they're trying to, like, win, like, a the most complicated UI menu award for gaming. Maybe that's what they're going for this year. I really can't tell because it is so trash. <laughs> I'm so, literally so annoyed with so many of the decisions that they decided to make this year. So many changes that were just completely unnecessary that nobody was complaining about. For instance, the perk system. I haven't even been able to touch the perk system. I don't know what that is. What perks can I choose? What perks can I not choose? Why is Hardline still showing up when I'm like 50 kills out of 75 in, in team, uh, team Deathmatch? Just so many absolute bogus bonehead decisions that 
make no sense that nobody finds fun. Uh, another thing, since I'm watching the gameplay here, footsteps apparently were changed, but I don't see it. They are ridiculously, ridiculously loud. I think my main argument for Dead Silence is to counteract loud footsteps. And so like, if you're gonna make footsteps this loud, Dead Silence should be a crutch perk, which obviously is not a good idea. So the counter to it is to make footsteps less and then have Dead Silence as a perk so that it's like not a crutch. That's like the best way to do it. They've done the complete opposite, where footsteps are ridiculously loud, Dead Silence is not a prutch perk, uh, and so basically there's no counter to the loud footsteps, which means you're punished everywhere you go for moving. I'm not someone who sounds whores, you know, I'm not like coming out here just specifically to sound whore and things like that. I know some people like sit in corners and, and want to do that kind of thing. That's not really for me. I don't always have fun like that you know if it's like search and destroy and sometimes i need to do it sure i'll do it like that but even for me without like a real headset or anything like that i've noticed that i can hear people very very simply and it's very easy to pinpoint their exact direction too it's it's not difficult at all which is like not that it should be difficult but man just like why just i don't understand and, and this is goes to you know back what they were saying how they hear us for the footsteps and for the dead silence perk and all these adjustments the mini map but unfortunately they don't want to test this out in the beta no 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 no. we don't want to risk anything we don't want to upset any noobs so instead let's piss off the hardcore fan base this is going to play this game for hours and hours days and days versus the casual fan base who will like you know maybe there's a ton of them but maybe they only play for like an hour every four weeks, so let's please those guys instead. It makes no sense. Along with just things that just don't make sense, things that don't work in my personal opinion, the sound, I know you're not gonna be able to hear it in this gameplay because I was talking with people in Discord and stuff like that, so it's like, you know, I, I just cut the sound out completely, but the sound is all kinds of effed up, okay? It's just, you shoot a gun, you shoot your weapon, and there's like a huge delay, at least for me, there's like a two second delay. And then later on, I hear my gun. Maybe it's part of the lag dilemma that I've been, I've been struggling with here as well. That's probably what's also been going on, but I, I don't know if it's just me. I, I, none of my friends seem to have this problem. I've never seen this on Twitter or anything like that, but I'm just like, I'm just so disappointed, man. Like I had high hopes for this game. I had high hopes. It looked good. It sounded like it was going to be good. You know, at the very least search and destroy is hopefully going to be good. But there's just so many design and UI choices that just really limit the fun in this game. I think at this point in the commentary, we've probably switched over to some invasion gameplay. This is my first and only try playing invasion. If the video goes long enough, you'll actually see me rage quit because I am bored out of my mind in this. Not bored, it's just really confusing. The whole like respawn from the, from the top above and, and coming back down, it's... I don't know, man. It's not for me. I just don't. I can't get on board with so many stupid decision making choices. Mix that in with the lag compensation. Mix that in with some of the maps not being terrible, but not being great either. I will say I don't mind the maps super much in this game so far. I, I think that, you know, I think I don't really have an opinion. I, I think that's the point. You know, like it, it's not bad. It's not bad enough to me to notice. Be like, oh, I, I hate this map. No, I'm not voting for this map or whatever. Not that there is map voting in this game, by the way. But at the same time, none of the maps stand out to me. Like, oh, I can't wait to play Dome. I can't wait to play Sea Town or or um, uh, Arkadin or whatever. You know, like none of those maps are are like in this game just yet. And that's fine. It's a beta. You know, gotta gotta take it at one day at a time, right? But as it stands right now, guys, there's just so many flaws in this game to where I can't recommend buying this game. I don't wanna say this game's like not finished. In my personal opinion, it kinda of seems that way just because I haven't like, just because I'm dealing with so much lag compensation and things like that. So to me, it, it doesn't seem finished, but uh, for the most part, I just don't know how much fun you're gonna have with this game unless you're like just a straight up camper. And by straight up, I mean like probably more of a camper than mo in like in Modern Warfare 2019. I think you have to camp more in this game than that game and that's shocking to say but it is what it is man i'm just i don't know what to say i'm extremely bewildered extremely let down what a lack of fun i had in this beta so far it's only the first day you know maybe the servers will get better maybe they'll do stuff that makes the ui better a lot of these things aren't terrible changes aren't like super hard to make or anything but as it is right now it's glaringly game breakingly annoying for me personally i had to hop off multiple times just because it's not fun just i don't i don't have fun you know teleporting from place to place i don't have fun figuring out how to you know build a class when i've been playing call of duty for the past like 12 years 
I, it's not fun, okay? It's not fun getting Sound Horde. It's not fun in getting Bunny Hop. The skill-based matchmaking is in this beta, okay? Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Uh, if it wasn't, just say you would notice if it wasn't. Let's put it that way. And overall, man, like I said, I'm I'm disappointed. I'm not even mad at this game. I think we kind of knew what we were getting into. It's by the same people who made Modern for 2019. Like, what, what, how, like how different can we actually make it, right? So, guys, I'm, I'm disappointed. Kind of out of breath here. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. I'm, I'm going to keep giving it a try here and there, but it's just, if I wasn't a YouTuber or a streamer or anything like that, I can't recommend buying this game. I just can't. It's just, it's so not fun in my personal opinion. I don't know how people are going to play this game. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hopefully my opinion changes in, in the near future, but this is just super, super negative. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.